Hello everybody and in this video we will learn how to draw in a dialog box and especially how do we draw in a control which is inside the dialog box and for this we will be using a C static control. Let's go and see from the reserve view how we can do that. So here is the dialog box and uh, we can we can use a static control to do the drawing. Let's find the static control, it's over there and place it there. Okay, so so this is the benefit with drawing in the static control that we can determine that where it's where the drawing happens. It starts from here and we want want to draw inside this window. This is a window, static control is a window, so it has all the drawing functionalities also. And we will learn now how to draw in this window. First of all, let's go and remove that static name from there. And let's give give it a nice name. We call it like um, static, I call it just draw. Static draw, enter. So the next thing we can do here is that we can we can add the variable so let's add the variable in this uh, video we need to have a control variable because we need to have the actual window we're not going to use the value we need the control the control means the window so we want to have a window window object i'm gonna call it draw static static draw we are going to draw into that window and then just finish okay and let's go and see if it's in the di in the dialog box now so there it is so this is the dialog dialog class and here is the control we just created it's a static window we want to now draw in this window so how are we going to draw in this window well the way to do is that we need to create a new class which is inherited from c static and then this one uses that new class instead i will first create and that and then i will explain more so we will go here and add that new class oh not not from here i i did it wrongly actually we need to go the other way around we need to go from from the class wizard this time because if we are creating an mfc class we need to go from class wizard and add class and now um, I already have that name here, so I'm going to call it this one. Color static control. And now this one needs to be inherited from C static because we're going to replace that, that class in the dialog box. C static. Um, C static is there. Okay, everything else is fine. And then press OK. So here it is. So this is a static control, but it's a, it has more than static control. So we can add some extra functionality here. We can draw inside this window, whatever we want to draw. In order to do that, we will need to first add the paint message handler. So we go to the class view and we will choose this class color static control. So we will basically basically create our own paint paint function. We are not using the default C static paint paint function, but we will create our own paint function. So we need to find the paint windows message handler. We need to create the handler. So this is the windows paint message and we need to create a handler for that so just click from there okay so now what happens is that when the static control needs painting it will go to this function and here we can draw anything we want into that static control 
and let's go and see now what do we need to change in the dialog box let's go back to the dialog box at the moment it's using the default C static and let's first compile this so we can see how it looks currently there should be nothing there okay so the, it is here but because we are not drawing anything and there is no text even so the, we can't see anything at the moment we want to use this color static control we just created here so I'm gonna copy that and uh, place that here but now we need to include that file also the header file include color static control okay so now instead of it using the C static it will use this class we just created here and it should go to this paint function to do the painting now let's let's just quickly test it really works so I just do a quick line too I'm just drawing a line so I put here 50 70 just a quick test let's see if it draws that line oh there it is we have the static control so let's put uh, some string there so there is that name I will now draw how this thing looks looks like so we have that uh, that C static control so it's gonna be something like this and let's call it S like static now what happens is that when this S static needs painting when it needs to be drawn in window window system the windows will get this WM paint message so this is the message this is the windows message this static control will get and then <coughs> it will have this function called on paint in in C static class like this this is the message handler for this paint message and here it will draw the text somehow draw text we don't know the implementation but somehow it will draw the text so this name which is here that name this function in C static this function will somehow draw that text using using the current font and so on what we're gonna do now here in this program we will create our own own class which is inherited from C static so I call it just my my static and it will be inherited from C static like that so it is a kind of C static it's a C stati static plus some extra that's what it is so it's a C static plus some extra so what we're gonna do now is that we will here capture that WM paint message so when we are capturing it here it means that this parent class version will not be called and we will it will call now this my static on paint so it will go there and here we can draw whatever we want now we can draw for example the background background color draw the background the red for example something like this so we are not calling the default on paint function but we will we will replace it with our own let's just now let's start doing this and um, first of all first of all well let's put those color values here to be ready so they will be they, they could be like integers like let's say red green blue like that and now we we go to the um, dialog class my plan here is that when I'm moving the mouse 
in the dialog box we will we will look at the position of the mouse and then according to the position we will draw the corresponding background color so for example if we have if the mouse is at zero 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 we will draw black if the mouse is in a two five five zero zero then we will draw red and so on so depending on the way the mouse is we will draw the corresponding color value we will draw the color to do that let's quickly create a mouse move mouse move mouse move handler so we're selecting the uh, windows uh, the dialog box class and uh, then I'm gonna go here and select the mouse move WM mouse move there it is so we will handle the mouse move windows message and now we can use this static control and we can set those values red red equals okay so now this is the interesting thing so we take from the point let's take the x to be the red so the x of the point will be the red value and um, and then red is it red green and blue what is it red um, green yeah so the green value will be um, why but because the color values are from 0 to 255 so let's let's make it so that it's always from 0 0 to 25 2.6 yeah like that so if we do like this uh, these values are always between 0 and 255 I put that modulus there so that makes it always even if the point is like one th 1000 the modulus will always be between 0 and 255 okay okay and next thing we need to do is that we need to ask that that window to draw itself uh, and let's create the function in this control here a public function we call it redraw so invalidate the whole window and then draw the window that's it and now we can go to the to the on paint function which is here let's paint the whole window whatever this color is here we will first need to take the rectangle of the whole window so get client rect gives the whole window starting from zero zero and uh, then we need to create the color value so this is how we can create the color so it could be, this is the macro which will create the color so um, it's just red green and blue here so this is the macro which will create a color and we will store that color value into this variable and then we need to create the brush we need to create the brush for for the for drawing so i'm using that rgb color to create the brush when we are drawing in windows we need to have a brush many times to do the drawing so and then we just call a function fill rect this one fills the rect as it says this is the rect rectangle it's with it will be filling with this brush and this brush is uh, this color brush Aha, we need to call that retro here. Retro, okay. Now let's see if this thing works. And there we go. And there is zero, zero. So we get black. And then... And then... Yeah, because X is this way, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. I thought X is this way, but X is, X is actually this way. So, you see, when X is 255, it's red, fully red, because because of this. Yeah, it all works. So, this is how it works. Now, 
what happens if I draw a line now here? I first draw the background and then let me draw a line, DC line on top of that. Line 2. And let's say let me put here 500. 50 so it's it's a long line let's see what happens yeah that line overlaps this window this is the problem with the static static control normally with windows if we draw over the windows it doesn't draw that like for example if we are drawing over this this dialog box over this it doesn't draw on this white window but with the static control we have this issue so how how can we now fix this problem that, that we never accidentally draw over that I can show the trick here what we can do here and um, it's a little bit advanced but let's quickly put that here so after this we can tell the MFC that which area it can draw only this is the way to do it so we call this for the device context we call that set clip region region this is region so it can be any kind of like even a circle but in this case we are using rectangle clip region so now this DC DC can only draw inside this rectangle so let's now let's now run the program again and you see it it doesn't draw any more over so this is a good good safeguard here i recommend to do this and at the end here we have to i mean it's a good way to do this that we will tell that we don't clip anymore so to do that we say we put null here so if we put null here we will remove that clip region so the device context doesn't doesn't anymore have that clipping because we, we finished the drawing here so we don't need to anymore have that clipping so null does that so let's let's do one more thing here that let's draw some text and see see that um, how how nice it looks so to do that I will I will create a point variable here so I will add one more variable here just to make it look a little bit nicer isn't it so so when the uh, when the mouse is moving we will we will also draw the coordinates on that on that um, on that static window so I just now sent that point point value from the from the mouse there into that dialog S sorry into that static control <laughs> sorry not this is the static control we will use that value there so after all of this let's draw the coordinates and I have the code here already so that's the code we are using so I we don't have M point I just call it point so so um, we set we set the background background for the for the text to be the same as we have here. So, for example, if the background of the static, static control is red, we will set the background of the text also red. S this set background color will be used when we are drawing the text. So the text will use that background color. Okay, and then here we are creating the x coordinate. We are drawing the x coordinate. We are creating the y coordinate text and then we will draw that y coordinate text a little, little bit below that 40 so 10 and 40 so let's run it now it should look a little bit more interesting now now there we go okay looking good so this is how we can draw uh, in inside inside the dialog box we will we could create we can create this static control and then create a class for it and then inherit that from the static and then then just um, 
override that mapping uh, use that map windows uh, windows um, windows paint message here is the windows paint message we will capture the windows paint message and then we will then it will always go to this function and all the drawing to that control happens here thank you for watching see you in the next video